But there's another scene where we see the river, and it's in the Old Testament, and, and it was a pretty hard time. God shows this guy named Ezekiel a river. It's a vision. And at the time, the people of Israel could only experience the presence of God at one place and at one time, and it was at the temple. But at this moment in history, the people of God, the people of Israel, had walked away from God. And they were super wishy-washy about whether or not they wanted in on what God had for them. And to be honest, at this point, most of the people were like, eh, I'm gonna do kind of my own thing. And so no one had life. The nation had fallen apart and things were not looking good. And so God takes Ezekiel and he says, but here's what I'm about to do. And in Ezekiel chapter 47, I'm gonna grab my Bible again. He says this. It says that an angel brought him to the entrance of the temple and he saw water coming out from underneath the threshold of the temple towards the east. The water was coming down from under the south side of the temple, the south side of the altar. So, so he sees this scene where out of the presence of God, this river starts flowing. And then it's interesting, and I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but this river starts flowing and, and the angel asks Ezekiel, he's like, you wanna get in the water? And he tells Ezekiel to go in and Ezekiel walks in and he like puts his toe in and he gets his ankles wet. And, and the angel says, yeah, how deep is it now? And Ezekiel's like, ah, it's like up to my ankles. And the angel says, go a little deeper. And he goes up to his knees. And the angel says, ah, go a little deeper. And he goes up to his waist and the angel's like, go a little deeper. He goes up to his shoulders and then, and then Ezekiel's like, I'm not going any deeper. Because if I go deeper, I'm not going to be able to touch the ground and the water's going to fully flow over top of me and I will be floating in the water. I'll be completely swept away in the river. And so God has a river of living water that is flowing out of his presence today. It, ha it will exist in paradise, but David said it exists already. Jesus says it exists already. Ezekiel saw that it exists already. And the question is, do you want to get in the water? And then here's what a lot of us do. We're like really cool with our ankles in the water. Right? Because this, this river is joy and delight, David says. It's awesome. I love when my ankles get wet. I feel like these goosebumps, I feel great. I love it. But you still don't have your purpose because you're only as wet as it makes you comfortable. And so you haven't experienced the purpose of God because it's still about your comfort. And so you're like, well, I go to church once every six weeks. And the weeks I'm not there, I watch online sometimes, and it feels good. I'm like, it does feel good. It is really, really good. But then you're over here, and you're like, but my relationships still suck, and my money still sucks, and my mental health still sucks, and where's God? I went to church once. And God's like, I got what you need, but you haven't given me your mental health, and you haven't given me your money, and you haven't given me your life, you haven't given me your life, so you put your ankles in, it's gonna feel great. And the voice of God is like, come a little deeper. And like, okay, I'm up to my knees. I'm there like every other week. Oh, they ask people to serve. Oh my God. Like, come an hour early, stay an hour late, and not get paid for it? You know what I'm worth? And that's why you're not content, because it's all about you. And you're like, well, I'm in, my, I'm in up to my knees. And things are a little better. Why? Because you're coming close to the presence of God. 
and you're getting a little wet in the presence of God. That's why things are better. But God's saying, if you really want what I have for you, you need to come a little deeper. And then you get up to your waist and then you get up to your shoulders and you start giving your life for something more than yourself. And then God says, I want you to let it wash completely over you. But the problem with that is that we don't want to go that far. Even Ezekiel was nervous about going that far. Do you know why? Because when we let the river wash over us, you know what we lose? Control. We lose control. Because when the river washes over me, my feet ain't on the ground anymore. And now I have to trust that God's going to give me what I need. And I have to trust that God's going to take care of my desires. And I have to trust that God's going to give me the relationship I've been trying to manhandle and control. And I have to trust that God can give me the freedom that I can't earn through my own efforts. But in order to get there, I have to give up control.